Hello, James. Uh, this is Ali Yamos or Alex Lamo. Um, tonight we're going to feature the character Noah Shin. So, Noah Shin is an architect. Could probably be like Asian in complexion, um, kind of like I am Pi. If you look him up, he's got like the glasses and stuff. Um, so, he's like an architecture student. And um, we met Aoyama somewhere down the line. I had him originally in school, but maybe she went to a different school, or maybe we went to the same school and they studied different things. It's all good. Um, but you know, Noah Shin is very. There's two big pillars. There's architecture, and there's like the Bible. So he does kind of both intensely, like spiritual architecture. Um, so I just want to make these short because I don't have a lot of time and you don't have a lot of time. So <clears throat> let me explain. So there's kind of like Noah building an ark. That's what like the concept is. So it's like arc a texture, but like building an arc, you know. So he's got to stay afloat because he's scared of water. Um, that's what Noah Shin's life story is. He's got to stay afloat with architecture because he's scared of water. Um, I could find some drawings for it. So, you know, you can look at his portfolios. I gave you the issue link. But, you know, it's basically this like Jacob's Ladder staircase with a rainbow on top. It's like, you know, he draws these concepts and they come to life. Like it's the sanctuary outside of like the craziness. Uh, so it's like rainbow light shining down on the staircase of the tree of life. That's kind of where this character is going. Where this character started. Kind of like this image here. There's three lenses, and he's taking the path of architecture up the staircase to the door that he had to draw. So that's exactly what is going on. And, you know, so I can show you more of these in detail, but it's kind of like, you know, who's got time for all of this, right? So, you know, his life's about building a sanctuary for his ark to protect him from water. Living in the garden, um, you know, this is an excellent example. He's got to go, this is his story. He draws his story through architecture and he lives it. So he goes through the, the fascism above it. He sees the view, and then he has to take the staircase down. And then, you know, there's an elevator that you have to operate to get to the roof to see the view. So that's like in a nutshell what he's doing. And I could go on and on about this. But, you know, so he's like the last architect and the beginning of a new era of existing in the digital world. He's like, in a lot of ways, he's like a digital architect. Um, I guess you want to get to the story. Um, you know, so he meets Ali Amos in the book and they have a lot in common. I mean, I guess she's a video game designer now. He designs real architecture. He worked at a 
few different architects in the past, including the one. So the big story is the is the Saint David story, which is all biblical too. So I can explain that real quick. So um, let's try to pull it up on the computer while I'm doing this. So he worked for PB and J Architects, and um, so if you go to vimeo.com slash ritual, there is a channel. Here it is, right here. So I don't have time to play all this, but this is like the coming of age story. It's like David versus Goliath. Um, you know, he's playing with Legos. He's watching music videos. He's creating a story out of his own work. Um, you know. It, there's a lot going on here if you just read everything. So, the St. David School, though, he worked on this school, which is, you know, doing construction administration and landmark building, doing the interior, fitting all the ducts and the pipes and the electricity in. And they worked so hard to get the facade to look right on the street. And it was like a battle every day between the architects he worked for and the contractors trying to build it, trying to balance that. And so, you know, if you fast forward, you know, then they put up this new tower right next to him. And so he's very angry about that because all his work is blocked by this monstrosity of luxury apartments so he has to take down goliath and that's ramses goliath so how does he do it he gets his little laser measure and and he goes to the site puts new silver batteries in he zaps the construction cone, and that's enough to take down the building. So he has like a sequence now and change the batteries, shoot the fire thing on the street, the emergency pool. And that's like the main thing with all these characters. They do like average everyday things that turn out to be magical. So he shoots the silver scaffolding and it ignites from the cone. And here we go. Here's the sequence. You gotta watch this. It's like the music video centuries involved where you have all the different pieces that you have to put them together yourself. So there's the magic happening with an illustration. It shoots up, turns the building on fire, erases the building. And then there's a rainbow, like the picture I showed you earlier. Exactly. So it's like sucking a lollipop so with that said and it's all biblical references so it's, it was direct hit by our brute snake the atasra um, the cool thing is right after right on the same block after saint david comes solomon this his son so he built the Kugenheim. So the same block architecture on the block 
is biblical. So, you know, now you're outside, you built what you did with plastic Legos. Now you build Solomon's temple with wood blocks. And that's the Guggenheim. And, uh, you know, this is also a boy struggling with technology, which is another story for another day. But there's a um, temple, which is like the Guggenheim on uh, 89th Street there. And that's how notion weaves together architecture, love, design, the pain. There's a lot of pain associated, like like metal stakes being driven into you. Architecture is really hard. It's like the hardest thing that exists. It's red bricks. It's your fingernails scratching against red bricks bleeding getting a scrape on it there's no other art that hurts as bad as architecture for the price you pay for it and what it generates is so much for everybody so just keep that in mind so no shin is really central you know and it all relates it's just like spawn websites and Jack Weber more. So um, with that being said, um, stop to share. So, you know, there's another fun story where he's got two buildings that fall in love, which is a really cute story. Then here's the credits. We have all our characters who are involved in this movie. Um, sorry, this is going on forever, but there's just so much here. Um, So this is really cute, and it's only like a minute, so I'll play it. So he made that battle story, so now this is the love story, the lipstick building. Looking for the perfect cantilever. And Hugh Knight is the Get the address, but the building on Third Avenue. Yeah, look at that cantilever. Ooh, there's a whole story with that. They needed a student to re engineer. And, uh, you know, the two buildings fall in love and they're connected by an underground subway passageway with art. So here's like the art story, and it's like passing under the canals of Venice. That's like how you do it. Um, it's a beautiful story. The only way to find love is underground canals through subway and light and art. And that's how the two buildings met, through reflections of glass. They can't see each other, but through the reflections in the underground subway circulation, people, you know, they can get there. Um, so I just thought that's a really nice way to end this video. I don't want to waste your time. I hope you watch this one day. And I almost out. Go ahead.